Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a really easy calendar template where you don't even have to make like the table and add all the fonts. It just literally you pop in everything that you need and it does it for you. So let's jump right on in. Okay, so first I just wanna do my background and everything, make it jazz it up, make it look nice. And I'm going to do the month of October. And so I'm just gonna place this uh, picture of pumpkins as the image background. And I am then going to go and to apps down here. And I'm going to type in um, calendar maker right there. And I believe it's the first one right here, that blue one with the white calendar. And I'm going to click on it. Okay, so now I'm going to start the whole basis, the template of the month of October. So right now you have the option with Calendar Maker to go by month, week, or uh, customize. And customize is up to 150 days, I believe. Um, but I, I just don't see the point of this one because all it does, I'll show you here. Um, it just literally bulks everything together. All right, so let's go and add design. And as you can see here, see if I could increase the size here, pull in. Do you see what it does? That's just, oh no. Maybe if you were doing some type of Excel type database spreadsheet, then maybe this would work, but I don't, I just think customize is just pointless. Um, so let's go back to month and I'm going to go like I said, the month of October is what I'm going to design in 2025. And I want the week to always start on a Sunday. And I'm going to leave the font as is. You could play around and stuff and choose whichever font you want to use. Um, but I think I'm going to stick with this one right here. Our, our mail, our meal. Um, yeah, I think I'll keep it. It's, Keep that is let's see we, and the cool thing about calendar maker app is that you if you're not happy with something and i'll show you you could go back but if you go back and change it and then hit add design it just populates a new calendar so just keep in mind of that but you really don't need to do that and i'm going to show you why and how but um okay so i'm just going to keep everything as is the numbers as is i want my background um, to, to pretty much, uh, have a good, have a close to texture as the, um, pumpkins, the yellow hair. So purple is not doing it for me. So I want something like a, like a, like a, like a khaki brown color, I guess. Um, uh, where can I find that? Maybe around here. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. But I want it darker. I want the header to be darker. Let's see how dark we can get. Like that. And then I want my odd and even rows to be lighter. So if we... Let's go back to this one. Oh, uh, what was it? Oh, it doesn't save it on here. Great. Okay. Um, Actually, I know what I could do. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to copy that. That... Uh, as the hex code, I believe it's called. Um, and then I'm gonna go into the odd numbers and I'm gonna, oh, it's there for me, thank you. Well, that was really good. Anyways, um, I wanna make it lighter than the header. So let's try and go maybe like that. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, and then I want the same um, for the even rows. Oops, let's go back. Uh, okay, is it the same color? I think it is. Wait, let's see. Uh, six five a. No, it's not. Oh, okay. Let's copy that then, and then go back, and then paste it into here, and enter. I think it is. It says set seven six a. No, they're totally different. What? The in the world oh i see okay let's just make it the same color as i don't know why it's doing that but okay um oh no no don't do that don't do that okay here we go it's just not 
it's I find this is quite a bit tricky sometimes with the color code um, especially if you want to use the exact same color I find that if you click on another color then go back in and then change it it will populate it correctly so I'm hoping that's right because I feel like it is yeah it is okay good all right so I have everything that I need now for my customized calendar and I'm just gonna hit add to design perfect okay so we can close that now um, and I'm going to make the calendar bigger um, so as you can see here you know the numbers are tiny the font is, uh, the font size is just tiny um, and uh, you can't really see much right so you want to obviously make it bigger and that's something you can do in the app if you go back to the app but like I said if you go back to the app and click on it you could it has it keeps everything that you've done when you make the changes however so if like if I wanted to just um, I don't know make the the numbers italic or something it doesn't do it automatically for you as you can see when I clicked on it you have to hit add design and when you hit add design it just populates a new calendar and that will get very frustrating especially when you're being when you're really critiquing so um, I found a way an easier way is just by just closing the app and literally using the toolbar up here so if you click on the points on each corner here or just one of them um, it's let's say for in this case I want everything to be the same font right so right now it's saying multiple fonts but if I go into um, fonts here and I wanted our Mio but I think I want to bold it so everything turns bold right now if I want to increase the size of um, the text, I can just, again, you just go up to increase font and you hit the plus, unless you know the size you want until you get to the size that you want in this case. And I'm happy with that size, perfect. I love it, I think it fits well in the calendar. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, I realize there's something I actually wanted to do here. Um, I wanna actually put the word October 2025 so we know what month we're in. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go into tax and I'm just going to um, use this one here and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so I can see it better. Highlight it and type in October. Okay, so the next, um, I want it to really stand out. So I love scripts. So I'm going to make it a script type font. So let's type in uh, script. And I already know what I want to use. It's called play. It's called play, playlist script. Where is it here? Is that it right there? No, that's not it. No, there it is. Okay. Yes. Love this one. Okay. And I'm going to make it white for the, so that it uh, blends in with the pumpkins. Why are we not working? Let's do this again. Make you white. Thank you. Okay. Next, let's move that over. I'm going to then um, just make it bigger. And I want it to kind of go over the borders and stuff like that. I, I don't know, I just love text that goes over. This is, um, so like over the actual template, the design template. Maybe make it a little bit, the O, okay. And then I'm going to position that to the back. Um, go backwards. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to need another one. Duplicate it. And I want to put 2025. Oops. And I don't know if I want to use same one let's I want a script so let's go and look for uh actually no is it this one I like yes okay I think I like this one hold on let me see yeah this is good and I'm gonna shrink it down and um should I put it here 
more. Because if I put it here, that's to make it really small here. I mean, that's not bad. I want October to stand out. That actually looks good. Yeah. Okay. Um, so then what I'm going to do next is, um, I don't like how all these, um, the cells are together. I want them spaced out. So I'm probably going to have to make this calendar a bit smaller once I space it out. So you can't do that in the app. I noticed, but when you hit any of the corners, the circles and the corners, and then you go up here and you click on table spacing, then you're going to take, you're going to scroll table spacing all the way to your desired um, spacing. For me, I think, yeah, that's about right. 15. Um, cell spacing, didn't notice anything here. Yeah, nothing happens when you're, when I, uh, scroll back and forth on under cell, cell spacing so you can just leave that as it as is now next um i think i want to so let's just place it in the middle here and bring it down here um and now like you could space it out like i could make this bigger if i really wanted to um i think this would be good a good design if you were doing like like let's switch it up right this is like a calendar template size but like if i were to go and resize it to like an instagram size of like a four four by five um <clears throat> let's see what happens here i think i would yeah this looks so much better so if i again click on one of the dots on the corners and then blow this up a bit here center it oh no don't do that um select Select. It can get very tricky. So let's do it again. Select and now move. There we go. Okay. And then take this October. Make it a bit bigger. Like so. I think I want it really big. I want it like over the page big. yeah like that maybe and then take the 2025 and then place it like here there you go okay yeah i like that that's better and then just bring this up just a bit the calendar okay and i think i want to add like a really nice text um a quote or something like that at the bottom so let me get another, let me duplicate this, bring it down here. I'll bring this down to about like a 30. And then do something like this is your month, dot, 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 own it. And then stretch this out, so I'm more. And actually I wanna make this bigger, so let's try maybe 50. Yeah, that's perfect, okay um and is this centered let's make sure it is centered perfect and then i want i think i want this to go over more i'm looking at the r now i don't like how it sticks out okay that's better um and then bring that down a bit okay so now i like the black contrast i don't think i would remove that because i think it would the the squares here would just are the cells would just blend way too much in with the pumpkins in the back so i think i'm gonna leave that as is but i do feel like the fonts need to be a bit bigger in the calendar so again i'm just gonna click on one of the dots in the corner and i'm just gonna try and increase the size here perfect okay i should mention that on in the app here you have the option of making your Sundays, the week, the days of the week. Um, you could shorten it. Um, where, where is that here? I know there it is. You could shorten your labels. Uh, if you don't want like it to fit all the, the entire word, 
to fit on in one cell. I think the other template that I had, the size would have been perfect for that, but because this one's a lot smaller, I'm just going to abbreviate the days of the week here. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it, really. I'm quite happy with this. Uh, I will show you other things uh, that I probably... So for instance, if you don't like the lining, so the, the borders here, you just click on here and you can remove the border. Um, so you could either have like a border that goes all around or you have the options as you can see here. But if you just want to move it, remove that black border lining entirely, you would just then click on border style and then remove. And as you can see, it just removed it. But, um, or you could, you could change it up, whichever way you want. So it's just basically like any, like if you were doing a table, it's the same type of, uh, concept and you have the same abilities when it comes to the features and the uh, the things to use to, to customize it accordingly. Oh, and I almost forgot this. So uh, if you don't want this right here, the actual um, uh, cell that is just outlined, um, so it's like a filler cell, you can remove it. And to do that, just uh, click on the cell itself and then go back up to here where it says borders, and then you're gonna click the three lines, the border style, and you're going to remove it. So you're just saying none, and that's how you get rid of it. Now I'm gonna try something here with you guys. I've, I have not done this myself, but let's see if these three here, so let's say you don't want those three extra uh, fillers here, can we remove them? Well, let's see. Probably, I mean, it would be the same effect, right? I guess as bold, uh, border style. So I guess first you have to remove the border, and then, change this um to maybe no color oh yeah it worked all right can you do two at a time by hitting down i have a mac so i'm hitting down command and then pressing the space bar and then let's hit yep and let's also get rid of the border yep still on there and so you could essentially just leave it like that, remove the, the, the empty filler cells. I think I, I like the three solid colored ones. Um, but what I don't like, it was that one right here, the outlined at right beside the 31. So I think I'm going to keep it like this, but you know, you could do you however you wanted to want to design it, but I'm just showing you how you would go about removing those cells if needed. I find this a lot easier than having to then just go into elements, get a table, and then literally manually add all these in. Sometimes you may forget a number. You can make an easy, an easy typo, right? But it this app, Calendar Maker, does it all for you, which is absolutely lovely. So I really hope that this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, anything else that maybe I didn't mention here and you try to, you're kind of stumped on something, please, please do leave your comments down below. I do respond to you guys. So um, yeah, just just do that and give me a like and please subscribe. If you've just been watching, if you just watched this and you're not subscribing to my channel, please, 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 can you subscribe to my page? It definitely helps me out here. And yes, uh, uh, thank you very much. This is it. And um, that is all for today. <laughs> you stay tuned for more and uh, stay blessed. Take care. Bye for now.